like killing the fucking like robo raccoon. Oh god, I can't pass this up. Oh, never mind. You can break it with your missiles though. Like, just tap it. Like, not the lock on. Just the Eggman in a chunk. Though. Anyway, we're talking about why fucking Road to El Dorado was good. It was a fantastic movie. Like, there's nothing about it I didn't enjoy. Also, goddamn, that girl had hips. But days. But days. But days. But days. Oh, I think we just went backwards. We did. Oh, we definitely. Oh, wait. Maybe not, because you were shooting those through the uh, wall, actually. Yeah. So it's not clear. No, I've definitely not encountered yeah. that many spike balls before. You would remember balls of that. Yeah, I do. We also remember flavor of that. Our tongues can't repel it. Tongues can't repel flavor of that. Shit. Oh, that was great. Pack parts fish sticks from the sea. They're so delicious and flaky. I don't remember the rest of that song. It, is there more? I think there was like one more line and that's when Akbar was just like, that's dumb. Then again, the fucking Robot Chicken Star Wars special was kind of man. It was on the other day, I had to watch some of it. It was okay. Yeah, like it's not the worst thing I've ever seen. No. It's not even the worst Star Wars parody I've ever seen. Oh. You know what, as much as I kind of... Well, as much as I really dislike them, I like it really now. Like, their Star Wars specials, I enjoyed. Yeah, they were pretty good. Like, again, not the best thing I've ever seen, but... You know, they were pretty predictable, but... Yeah. Like, I mean, I guess it's a Star Wars parody, you kind of know what you're getting into, but I mean, even on those grounds, it was kind of like they weren't doing anything that... Yeah. Yeah. New for a parody of Star Wars. Yeah, it's not like they were, um... Breaking any new ground. Yeah, they weren't. it wasn't groundbreaking, but, you know, it was serviceable, yeah. I think is the appropriate word. I got a laugh or two. Yeah, I, I had a chuckle. A hearty chuckle. Oh, man. Yeah, um... Oh, fuck. So, like, speaking of just, like, comics and TV, that kind of shit. Yeah. Uh, so you remember a while back I was mentioning how Amazon fucked up a package? Yep. Uh, so I finally got the other half of that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and one of the comics was, uh, it was actually a comic starring Carnage. Yep. Uh, the character, not the person we know, not yep. Sammy. Um, the character Carnage. And I've always kind of liked Carnage the character because he he reeks of the 90s. Like, even to the point where, like, even modern Carnage still makes the same jokes, and that's kind of become his character. Like, they draw attention to the fact when he makes old references, everyone's like, people don't watch that show anymore. And he's like, I haven't watched TV in a decade. <laughs> I've been too busy murdering people. Yep. But, um, yeah, no, um, it was pretty good. And it was really a cool storyline, because the entire premise was pretty much, uh, evil can evil. Eggman can evil. Uh, pretty much the storyline was that, um, uh, when Cletus Cassidy, uh, before he became Carnage, he was in an orphanage. Um, uh, and, you know, like, pretty much is the case of, like, abused boy in an orphanage gains superpowers proceeds to go on unstoppable rampage. That's, you know, Carnage's origin story. Yeah. Um, so... Like every Linkin Park fans, uh... Probably. Or, yes. Yeah. Um, but anyway, uh, so, you know, the whole thing about Carnage was that, um, he actually burnt down and murdered most of the people in that orphanage. Uh, oh, Jesus. And, like, that was why he was arrested and in prison. Which is important because it was in jail that he got the symbiote suit that turned him into Carnage. Yeah. Anyway, uh, one person survived, and uh, they set a trap by having her be on the news and talking about, like, you know, and it's it's one of those, like, kind of sob stories you always see, like, this person survived this great trauma, yeah. and now look at their life. And pretty much, you know, it was bait. Get up. You just have to do a long jump. Like, do a running long jump. Oh, that's weird. Can you not jump high enough? Doesn't look like it. Let me see. Girl's a little sweaty. Oh, there we go. Oh god, don't you fucking crush me! Don't worry, it's not an instant death. But anyway, um... So yeah, they set the trap for him. And the entire idea was they were luring him into this one area that has a big sonic cannon, right? Because yeah. uh, the symbiotes are weak to sonics and fire. Yep. Um... And so they go to, like, spring the trap, and, yeah. uh... 
What they don't realize is the place they, like, picked to put their trap was over an old abandoned mine. And the Sonics cause a cave-in. And everyone falls into this big mine complex alone with Carnage. Oh, oh my god. And the entire thing is it becomes like a horror movie as he's hunting them down one at a time. Yeah. And, like, the military bigwigs brought in as a, as a consultant on how to fight Carnage, Eddie Brock, who was originally Venom. Oh my who has since, you know, no longer has the Venom suit. But he's just being like, okay... They, he has a new, he has a different symbiote suit. He's just like, yeah. come on, coach, let me in, let me go. I want to get him. And everyone's like, no, we're not putting a second symbiote into this. Oh my god, I'd love to see that. Can we yeah. pause for a second? Because if I don't, I'm gonna piss myself. Uh, well, just finish the cutscene. All right, I can wait. But yeah, no. Uh, long story short, uh, that shit happened. And then, uh, interestingly enough, uh, it turns out the entire thing was actually planned by a dude who was part of a Cthulhu cult that thought Carnage was like the reincarnation of this great slaughterer. And there's a great scene where they're like, you know, he's confronting Carnage about this. Yeah. Carnage is like, okay, two questions. One, what makes you think I'm this, like, red slaughterer? And he holds up the book, and there's, like, an old Victorian era drawing of Carnage. And he's like, okay, fair enough. <laughs> but, no, it's great, because it's like this Cthulhu cult. And my first thought was like, why is there a Cthulhu cult in Marvel? My immediate second thought was, Dr... Doctor Strange exists. This is the one universe where no one would blink an eye at Cthulhu. Like, well, of course he exists. Yeah. God damn. Doctor Who makes his business of fighting him. Yeah. Doctor Strange, I mean, whatever. I, I figured that's weird. Maria! But yeah, that's Maria. Moments before being shot by the cops. <laughs> Do it, Peter. Please, Kill please. them all. <laughs> Look, there's a good analogy. What is wrong with her face? Dreamcast. Oh my god. Remember, there are people who defend it. Why? I don't know. Ask Mark. Did did Maria just drop pot of salt Sonic onto the city? Shadow. Shadow. Fuck. That's why he was in stasis. Oh my god, I love it. All right. Okay. As soon as it starts. Radical Highway! Radical! Break through the besieging military. I love CG. CG is such a fascinating thing. Well, you do love me. the Iron Warriors. Alright, we'll be right back, folks. Ian's gonna take a leak. Before I fucking wet myself. Four job sandwiches! Oh, shit! Get the fuck out of here! What uh, the fuck are you doing? Get the fuck out of here! We're all dead! My fucking bladder isn't about to erupt. Exploding oh. kneecaps! <laughs> Alright. Alright, we're back. Back at her. So yeah, now you're doing Tails' level of shadow. Left or right, you will find that neither decision particularly matters. Just like in real Who life. builds a highway like this? Uh, the besieging military? Now, my fellow Americans, you might be wondering why I chose not to finish this road. Well, that's because sick loops, faggots. Actually, imagine, Ob like, President Obama trying to defend construction like this. None of it makes sense. Whoop, shit! Shit! Just jump into it. This is going a little too fast. There we go. Yeah, I want to reiterate that all of these robots are not built by Eggman, but instead by the Gun Corporation. Well, it's, it's Gun. Like, they're the big military force. I don't think it was called the Gun Corporation, but I think that sounds better. Yeah. You had to, to bear it. under this, right? Yep. There, there you go. go. Look, why do you, Into a building! Into two buildings! <laughs> None of this makes sense! What, what kind of vehicle could drive on this? Did that just say Chaos Soda? Yes. Ian, do you really think in modern America, if, they, if we didn't discover that there was a god of water and chaos that destroyed, like, Los Angeles or something, don't you think there would be someone out there who tried to market that shit? Of course. Yeah. I mean, I think in-universe, people actually made chaos action figures. Cause I remember, uh, fucking, there's a- Fuck me, right? Yep. I remember there's a side character who I think actually has, like, some dolls of some of these people. Uh, I believe there's, like, a shortcut behind this. Behind all this? Believe. Nope. But I can get back. 
Uh, talk to him. He might know what's up. Uh, figure it out, I guess. Well, that worked. Holy crap, that guy orbiting you killed one of them. Yes! But yeah, no, I think in ca um, Because, yeah. In uh, canon, there's like uh, this, this duo named uh, Cream and Cheese. Uh, yeah, don't think about it too hard. Um, so the girl's name is Cream and she's a rabbit. Uh, you know those little annoying blue things, the Chows? Yep. Her pet Chow is named Cheese. I you didn't see. need to do that. Oh, I guess I didn't. Anyway, uh, but like, she's a little kid. Like, I yeah. believe younger than Tails, so like six or something. Um, and the entire thing is that like, uh, she, she has a very loose grip. Like, the only thing she seems to understand, morality-wise, is that Eggman is evil, and, and everyone else she'll give a fucking pass to. Uh, there have been... As yeah. long as you're not Eggman? Yeah. Alright. Uh, just jump and do a homing attack, I guess. Yep, sure, looks like that's what I gotta do. Or actually, I think if you break these, there's a there's a jumper that gets you up to the higher point. You have to just pull it. There you go. Uh, but yeah, no, um, she has on repeated occasions been tricked by, like, villainous characters because she's just like, oh, he can't be that bad. Oh yeah, so you gotta swing on that and try uh, not to kill yourself. Oh god, alright. Nope. Not then. It's better to do it while you still have that fucking red sexual glow. Like that. That actually worked out pretty good for you. Get I will admit, to a moment of terror, when I let go there. Okay, so these are the ones that have that fucking shock shield, so All right. time your... Time your shit. Fuck. Shit. That was embarrassing. Well, this worked out. Okay, sure, I guess. Thank you, game. Um... Fine, it's... It's, it's fine. Yeah. Oh, there's a robot back there. There's totally a robot back there. They keep fucking just forgetting. No, it's move. a jet fighter. See? Oh, fuck yeah. You can you can kill him with the homie attack. Actually, this is one of the ones that's the most morally uh, dubious if you did kill him, because that's actually there's still a person in there. There is. I have absolutely no I idea. I completely forgot about this level, by the way. Oh, oh, oh. shit! I'm getting that. Yeah. That's a good call. But yeah, no. Um, she has been repeatedly, like, outright robbed by Shadow, Cream has, because she keeps forgetting that he's not a good guy. Yeah, that and is. And the entire thing is, like, she still thinks that he's just misguided, so she keeps giving him the benefit of the doubt, because what if he's actually trying to be good this time? What if? Yeah. And, like, fucking... And it's funny, too, because Sonic will be, like... I really think we should probably give her a talking to. And Tails is just like, um, maybe we shouldn't destroy this child's innocence. Yeah. And like everyone else is like, yeah, maybe Tails has a point here. Maybe it's good we have one person with the 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 you know trusting nature because we deal with a lot with a lot of bullshit around here. And then Eggman does his latest evil scheme that makes no sense. Actually, the funniest thing was like, oh yeah, there's fucking knights again. Uh, the, I think one of the funniest things he's invented in the comics was a robot suit that's just covered in those plunger things. Yep. And Sonic can't beat it because every time he attacks it, he just bounces off <laughs> and does no damage. Oh, fuck. Ugh. Who builds highways? <laughs> Why? Yeah, no, um... Fuck. The Sonic comics are weird, and I kind of like them because they're really stupid. Like most of the things I like, actually. <laughs> see you next time, folks, after Bye. we see this inevitable E. Uh, actually, yeah. you didn't die, so maybe a D. No, it's... Holy no! shit! That's right. See you next time, folks. We're gonna try hard enough next time. <laughs> no, we won't. <laughs>